Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. As we know, technology is everywhere and the farm is no exception. In fact, it may be making life and work a little bit easier. Here's our Jen Gillespie. Technology is all around us and agriculture is no exception. At a recent Ag Technology Field Day in Kingfisher County, we caught up with Randy Taylor, an OSU agricultural engineer. He says there's a new GPS technology that can help producers with terrace maintenance and soil drainage in fields. We're kind of taking a few pages out of the construction industry's textbook and being able to try to move some uh, uh, soil around on our terraces to maintain terraces, as well as just improve drainage on our field. A lot of guys think they can move dirt and really all they do is move their mud hole from one spot in the field to another. What this technology does is it allows them to make sure that it drains. There's no guesswork in what you're doing and you get to, be, you get to do it really quick and uh, you're not moving a little bit of dirt, looking at it, move a little bit more and look at it. Uh, you're looking at it on a computer screen in the tractor and you know what's going on. Oklahoma producers are just getting started with soil moving technology. For those interested in learning more, Randy suggests going straight to the source. If you can find somebody that's been doing a little bit of it, well, those are the people to, to talk with because they know that the, the, the types of equipment that's going to work well behind the tractor as well as the, the tractors and the platforms themselves. So we headed north to Garfield County where Matt Steinert's family has been farming for more than 50 years. Matt, tell us a little bit about how you're using this GPS technology in your farm. So we're using it to correct a lot of problems we had in our terraces. So we had a lot of terraces that either they pond water or they're prone to going over and most of that is caused by the fact that they didn't have proper drainage or they didn't have proper grade on the terrace. And it's very difficult to determine grade in the field without doing a lot of labor intensive survey work. So this GPS technology has allowed us to, uh, to become much more efficient at correcting problems. Okay and about how long have you been using it? So we've only been using it about a year. The technology has been in the construction industry for probably 10 years but it's fairly new to ag and it's a lot more common in the, you know, in the Midwest than it is in our area. Okay, talk about uh, a little bit about the problems that you had before or maybe some of the challenges you faced doing terracing without the GPS. So it was very difficult before to know, okay, is this, terrace, is this point in the terrace at the right elevation? And the only way to do it was to get a, you know, a transit out or a rotary laser and go out and actually measure each point in the terrace. And so it, it was very labor intensive. It took a lot of time. This technology, we can do everything in the cab. We just come out, we drive up and down the terrace and we get a map of elevation in the cab. And then we design the grade we want the terrace to be to and it automatically controls all our dirt moving equipment to get the terrace at the proper, proper grade. Okay, so what are the biggest benefits that you've seen over the past year implementing the technology? Time, well, probably, you know, getting it right so before, a lot of our terrace work was just trial and error. You'd wait on a rain to see if it worked. And so now we know when we're done that it's right. And it takes, you know, there's huge labor and time savings and monetary savings because I would say it probably takes 30% of the time it took before to correct each terrace. Okay. Well, why don't we hop in the tractor and see how this technology works? Okay. My grandfather built these terraces with a uh, three bottom plow and some kind of ditching machine. It would have taken them all year to move this much dirt. So we're widening the channel, widening the base of the terrace to make it easier to farm over. You create the path of where you want the drainage to be and it will auto steer down that path if you want to. It's measuring the, the height of the cutting blade on the scraper. And it has a state of accuracy of plus or minus three, three inches, 365 days a year, but in reality it's about an inch most of the time. So you don't really have to have an eye for level, you don't have to guess, okay, how much grade do I need on this terrace? Does it have proper slope? Is the water going to run it, run down it at, you know, the proper speed? Uh, it just makes it so much more efficient. It was cost prohibitive to correct all the problems we had on rented ground before this technology. And, you know, traditionally, terraces were maintained with, with moldboard plows. And a problem, the problem with that is it was kind of a one-size-fits-all treatment. You know, you plowed 
you were moving dirt from the entire length of the channel onto the entire length of the terrace and most of the time that isn't what needs to be done. Normally there you have silt accumulation, most of your problems are in the lower half of the terrace. And so there's been a lot of terraces that are unnecessarily tall and large to try and hold the water back and usually that's just a symptom of uh, poor drainage in the lower part of the terrace. We started analyzing our yield maps from the last five years and we found out that on a lot of farms we were probably losing 10%. We, had, you know, we saw a 10% yield reduction because of poor drainage. The soil gets waterlogged, the roots can't get any oxygen, the plant dies, or, or we just see yield reduction because it's standing in water for too many days during the year.